Bible is not cake for special occasions. It is the food that you need in life to live. Do you know the holy God who created you and all that you see? The trees, the plants, the animals, and the creatures, the birds and the organisms and what not. The beautiful landscapes, mountains, waterfalls and lakes, the seas and the oceans etc. There is so much to know and to learn, and be thankful for. Blueprint of God's plan of his creation. Origin of sin. Fall of man. Fall of heavenly beings. The great worldwide flood. God's plan of salvation. God's chosen race. Prophecies about the end of days from the book of Daniel the prophet. Prophecies about the end of time and the great tribulation by John the Beloved. Embark on this transformative journey with us and discover the profound impact of the Holy Scriptures on your life. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Royan. I'm your teacher. I am the mouthpiece of God right now. And we are going to go on a very incredible journey learning the scriptures together. Bible Frontier, Jivitache Uto, Educating the Body of Christ. Praise the Lord. Greetings to all our precious viewers and partners. It is so good to live our daily lives through the lens of God's word. And because of this reason, our team, our associates are encouraged and inspired to have this Bible study on air on Rofe TV, partnering with Dr. Royan. So before we go ahead with our session, today it's going to be a special session, a Q&A session. But before we go ahead, I would like to tell you if, you, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell icon so that every time there's a new uh, upload or there's a new program being premiered, you will be notified at that moment. And uh, we are so excited for this uh, Q&A session. We have got uh, questions and doubts and queries and uh, we are so thrilled to hear these answers from Dr. Ryan. Thank you so much. God yeah. bless you. God bless you, brother. So the first question goes out as, uh, why are some angels called archangels? You know, could you elaborate on um, their hierarchy and uh, does their service depend on their hierarchy? Okay, very, uh, <laughs> a, a very big question. Usually people don't uh, go into such kind of uh, studies of it. But because of the lack of knowledge, a lot of people have misconception about the angels and the different hierarchies. Okay, now to begin with, I have to give you a word uh, from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. It says, for we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, which means it is not talking about one particular angels it is talking about different there are uh, if you want i would be able to list them out you see that it is called supernels celestials illumination and seraphims cherubims thrones dominions virtues powers principalities archangels and angels these are all the different different hierarchies of angels listed in various different books written by 40 different authors at 40 different period eras and that is how it has been mentioned and now some of the books have been removed like book of Enoch though it is mentioned even in the book of James and uh, uh, some of the things which are written by them by you know the in the book of Enoch has been quoted by this uh, our disciples and apostles who lived at that period of Jesus time and it, it, during the time of Yeshua one of the brothers of Yeshua he himself has written about this some of the angels those who did not keep that estate their domain they left their own domain and came into the daughters of men it says and for that God bound them in chains and kept them in the bottom uh, of the abyss, he says, in darkness. Some words are used in other uh, translations. They are using the word Tartarus. 
Some of them are saying abyss. Some of them are saying in chained in bondage for waiting for the last day of the judgment so that they would be and some would be saying uh, even uh, in the book of Revelation uh, our beloved John John the beloved the young John he says uh, the some of the angels which have been kept under the bottom of the river Euphrates when the Euphrates die, dries up and these thing will be released then they will be getting into the world to do a lot more of damage to God's kingdom. So now you need to understand that all these things are existing. It's not that we don't see, but while we are talking, there are lots of angels are also there around us. Demons are also there around us. The fallen angels are demons and the big archangel, which was Lucifer, now he's called the Satan. There was not, Satan does not mean only that Lucifer. There were Gadriel, Jezreel, Azazel. All these are all different, different angels which are mentioned in the different books, which most of us have not read. But I have, because of the research that we have done, I have done it in the book of Enoch, and I have found all these things there. Did I answer your question? Yes, there's something more interesting. Okay, since um, you know um, we are talking about angels. Yeah. See, angels are often uh, depicted with bird-like wings. Okay. Okay. What is the actual appearance of angels? Now, if every time you know uh, you would picture an angel, or even if, as I said, if shown in a movie or for that matter anywhere, it's always with wings. Yes. Uh, angels can do the shape shifting. Okay. They can take a form of a man, or they can be like how God has created, with cherubims, with wings and appearance, how they had uh, depicted in different uh, writings. But two of the angels who came and met Abraham outside their tent. They came as a human being. And when they spoke to Abraham at the time, when they promised, they were laughing. Abraham and his wife were laughing, thinking that, what are we going to, in this old age, are we definitely going to have children? And they said, and he welcomed them, he made them be seated, he gave them food to eat, and after that, then these people blessed them and he went, went, went away. This is, these are all records which we have in the scriptures. Yes. And even at the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, when Lot was saved, these men of God, these angels, they did not come with wings, they came like handsome young men. And that's why these people were trying to abuse them itself. When they so he said, if you want, you take my daughter, you take both my daughters, but don't do anything to these people. That's how Lot showed his regards and respect for God, men of God. Because that's why they are called sons of God. So we, God created them first before they He created us. Like if if I want to give you some more details, I have to tell something, which is um, uh, first God created. He separated the light and the dark, and then he called uh, the out uh, what he call uh, day and night, and then he created the separated the waters, the firmaments, and then he created the vegetation, and then he created the creatures of the ocean and the uh, animals of the land, the creatures of the land, and then only God made man. But before making the living creatures, including man, God created food for them. He created the vegetation. He created the oceans, everything. And then God put the creatures there in it. In the same way, God, before creating man, God created the helpers, the angels, who were created for taking care of the human kingdom which is representing God himself. That's why God says, let us make man in our own image. And in his own image, he created them. 
male and female it says so when we talk about that the angels were created above us to take care of us but jesus did not come into this world yeshua did not come into this world to die for the fallen angels he came to die for the human beings so we need to understand that we have been kept as a top priority before the angels he had kept the angels charge over the says right which means he the angels are supposed to be serving you guarding you protecting you and when you had asked this question uh, are they greater than human beings yes there's a question i I'll, i'll read the question to you it is um, are humans greater than angels yes humans are greater than angels why he died for us yeshua died for us for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life why everlasting life that was his ultimate yes desire his desire was that man should live like god for ever and ever and ever right. that's why he said to even adam the day you eat of this tree from fruit of the tree of knowledge of knowing good and evil the day you the same day you would die yes so according to peter uh one day in god's sight god's eyes is a thousand years so one day god said the day you eat the day you die all of them died at the age of 930 960 and, and, and so on but none of them crossed 1000 years so that shows that god wanted us to live forever and he says eat from the fruit of the tree of life which is himself and don't eat from the fruit of the tree of knowledge of knowing good and evil which is representing satan and death but satan wanted to do bring human beings to condemnation that is why we have another scripture in the new testament for there is no condemnation in christ jesus for those who are in christ jesus there's no condemnation and we have another a beautiful example for that it says the dead in christ shall rise first yes then those who are alive shall be caught up with them in the mid air right so that means only those who are dead in christ shall rise first now to answer that uh, your question i had to give you all these references so that anybody who knows these references will be knowing that if a person dies a lot of people join together and say eternal rest grant unto him o lord let a perpetual light shine upon them may their soul rest in peace nobody can pray and send them to heaven they have to believe in jesus and then die in jesus then only they will be raised any amount of uh, 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 masses and uh, sacrifices and uh, rituals and ceremonies and giving away is nothing can bring salvation to people only in christ they will be having salvation amen the dead in christ shall rise first and those who are alive shall be caught up with him in the mid air but other than that there is no life no dead bodies can hear or feel or know or think but if you are in christ jesus even the dead person will be able to hear how an example which is lazarus he was in the tomb for four days before jesus came there and he says lazarus the dead body heard come forth he got up and he came untie him he said that is the way it is we we want to live for eternity you know you got to have christ in you amen, amen. <laughs> also brother uh, what is the main purpose of angels meaning why did god create angels the the purpose is to glorify god see god wanted to be praised worshiped because he is god and he created all these angels to worship him and that's how angel which is the lucifer the fallen angel he was a worshipper in heaven 
he had such big cherubims and uh, he was a cherub uh, worship cherub like you know and he was in charge of glorifying god and uh, praising and worshiping and he had one third of the angels with him now he told the rest we i do not want to give it to yeshua uh, one minute brother you said that um, lucifer had the one third of angels with him yeah. right yeah like how why only one third was with him if there are like uh, let's say a thousand okay. uh, not a thousand uh, let's say a uh, one lakh angels one third will be 33,000, another third will be 33,000, another third will be 33,000. Michael the Archangel will be having 33,000, this fellow will be having 33,000, uh, Gabriel will be having 33,000. Okay. Now, one third of his angels which were under him, he, brought, he made them to rebel against God. Yes. And uh, the scripture is saying, he ascended, he wanted to ascend himself above the throne of God. He was called the son of the morning. The son, S-O-N, son of morning. That's why he was called as the morning star. But that is a title given to the son of the morning is given to Satan. But actual light himself is Yeshua. Yes. Because he says, I am the light. I am the light he when he said that i am the light uh, he was uh, the light of the world this fellow is only a star that is what you call morning star now some people did not understand this this morning star they thought it was mary some people have made a, a nice person supposed to be mother of jesus brothers of jesus father of Jesus, all these people, they tried to make them as deities and gods and goddesses and they have made the word of God to become a falsified doctrine. Why? Because Jesus is supposed to be honored and worshipped. He is supposed to be the son of the living God and he came as a son of man so that he would be called as a son of man but yet he lived without sin and he was killed and for our sake he became sin and he became uh, the purpose of our very salvation but unfortunately uh, we have all understood it as wrong as a wrong doctrine and a wrong principles now you you all know that i love my mother, my daughter, my sisters and my brothers, everybody. I, I respect women. I love these women who have made it as an important part of my life. One as a mother, another as a child, another as a sister. See, these are all beautiful things which God has given us. How can I take these people and dump them in a gutter? Now they have made like that. So now everybody is thinking, that Mary was a bad person. She was not a bad person. She is the great, 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 great grandmother of my eldest brother, Yeshua. And how much I would regard and respect her, if I can respect, respect you all so much. But you, the, the people, those who I am talking about, they have made her into a goddess and dumped her. Now, if she was in heaven with Jesus, she would say, these people are so stupid. My son died. I brought my, this Lord of God and the King of Kings and the, Lord, uh, the King of Heaven. I brought him into this world. God used me as a vessel. And that person, they have made me into a goddess. And how I detest these things. She would be upset that these people are making her into a goddess. But she was one among those disciples, one among those people, those who loved Yeshua. And they, she was also one among those people, those who became, uh, what you call, followers of Yeshua. And they kept on. John was taking care of her until she died. But people did not understand this truth. So now I'm, I laid the foundation for this. Now we need to understand 
that every time whenever they are praising other people they are praising satan god of the earth they are not praising god so satan was also supposed to praise god but he wanted to get all the glory for himself so he is gathering all his forces he is gathering all people into deception and they are all worshiping so if you are honoring all the so called saints and the statues and the uh, the mother of uh, our lord yeshua and if you are calling all of them you are not worshiping them you are not worshiping you are worshiping satan because you are believing all his lies we need to worship god that's why it says uh, when we when god created angels he created them to worship and the same woman uh, mary magdalene who was caught in the adultery jesus said is there anybody to condemn you she said no neither do i condemn you go sin no more when he had said you know she knew that she was a sinner and that she had been forgiven with so many things and one day she came and she came with the the frankincense which is very very expensive all that she had was in that uh, jar of uh, perfume yes. and she poured it on his feet and she cried and kissed the feet and she wiped it with her hair that was worship uh judas is carry it is saying why are you wasting this can't you give it to the sell it and give it to the poor people because he was always after money but jesus said no she is worshiping leave her what she is doing jesus wanted worship the father wanted to worship jesus also said believe in the father also believe in me yes so we need to know that we need to believe in the son the just shall walk by faith and not by sight these people are looking at something and they are believing but we are the ones those who don't believe in the things which we do not see so the purpose of the angels was you know to worship god yes right correct that was the only thing yeah that was to worship god okay now is that the only thing no they are also kept as messengers protectors to carry out god's instructions like from time to time they revealed it to daniel they revealed it to uh, ezekiel they revealed it to jeremiah they revealed it to john they revealed it to uh, other disciples everybody they kept on god was using them as messengers and he was wanting them to be protected as well and god has even kept the angels right now around us there are angels if you ask can you see i may not see but i believe in the word the word yes the word says i have kept the angels charge over thee i believe that the just shall walk by faith and not by sight i walk by faith and if i have to say that the angels are also there that means the demons are also there around they will not come near us because we have the protection of angels, angels. around us and we have to understand that sometimes we are not able to okay now i'm going to demonstrate something can you hear some music no right now can you hear music no i'm talking about the uh, radio fm music is going on okay can you see, can you hear it here i cannot hear it at present oh, the reason why because there's no receiver there's no radio transmitter you turn on the transmitter and you receive the waves and that will bring it to your speaker and you will get to hear the music okay. so you need to have the holy spirit of god in you which is your receiver and the word of god which is living inside of you it is the, also the transmitter and it enables us to hear with the understanding through the faith you can hear the music that is how the nature of god's work is 
coming into our lives. You need to be protected uh, from the evil ones. You need to be kept healthy from the clutches of the evil one. And you need to be inspired with the good things of the Holy One. You need not be discouraged, discouraged by the evil words of the evil one. All these things are taken care of the angels for us. He says, no, in Psalm 121, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from where comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Behold, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is the shade upon the right hand. The sun will not hurt you by the day, nor the moon by the night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He will preserve thy soul. He will preserve you while going out and by coming in from this time forth and forevermore. So the moment you come into the love of God, God has kept certain angels around us constantly battling and pro see I had an injury yes. I was protected it could have been fatal I could have been dead a week back today you might all, and I might not have been alive also but the favor of God is so much that I had been protected from all kind of evil just to let me know that I have protected you I got a small injury yes. concerning the different episodes that you're watching. If you may have any doubts or queries or clarifications or more understanding or insights to it, please send in the questions in the below mentioned telephone number or email ID. And continue to watch, learn, learn the scriptures, abide in the word and be blessed. Bible is not cake for special occasions. It is the food that you need in life to live. Do you know the holy God who created you and all that you see? The trees, the plants, the animals, and the creatures, the birds, and the organisms, and what not. The beautiful landscapes, mountains, waterfalls and lakes, the seas, and the oceans, etc. There is so much to know and to learn, and be thankful for. Blueprint of God's plan of his creation. Origin of sin. Fall of man. Fall of heavenly beings. The Great Worldwide Flood God's Plan of Salvation God's Chosen Race Prophecies about the end of days from the book of Daniel the Prophet Prophecies about the end of time and the Great Tribulation by John the Beloved Embark on this transformative journey with us and discover the profound impact of the Holy Scriptures on your life Bible Frontier Jivitache Utol Educating the Body of Christ